We have Will Byers here for the fourth episode of the mini lockdown t- series that they were doing on Grove TV. Thank you for joining us, Will. First of all, uh, what I want to ask you, I'll start all of these uh, little episodes off. In se- uh, just coming out of the second national lockdown, obviously been away for football for around a month now. How have you been coping? How you've been keeping yourself occupied with training regimes and all that? Uh, yeah, obviously, Scott sent us uh, the list of what we need to do. I try and do that as, as many times as possible. We can... Luckily enough, I've just had a little exercise bike in my room, so I've been using that every other day, kind of thing, keeping myself ticking over. But, yeah, it's just important for everyone to really just keep keep the fitness levels up because that was a good part of our game before, obviously, everything stopped. So it's important to keep the levels up high when we come back. Yeah, definitely. And obviously, we're coming back in. I believe you have a friendly on Saturday, then back in the FA Trophy on Tuesday. So it's all coming back around. Obviously, you were in fantastic form before in the little break that we've had how important will it be to get in positive results straight straight away because everyone's in the same boat but you don't want to get off it to a slow start you want to get wins under your belt straight away yeah of course but like, well, the main thing for lads I think will just be getting that match practice and the match fitness because it's all well and good doing your little training exercises as we've been doing well I see more lads have been doing them because training last night was good and everyone seemed to be on it so but yeah, it's different when you're playing a match and that's what I'm looking forward to mainly for tomorrow, just getting out again, playing a, a proper match. And yeah, if the result goes our way, then that's perfect. For yourself, you, you, you're new to the club, came from Stone Order Lane and you're still a young uh, lad. How are you settling in into this kind of level? Because you've, you've never been at it before and it, 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 it is going to be a challenge for the first season. And we have had some tough games coming up with good attendances as well. We had Leak Town, uh, which uh, was a good little game, which got a good result out of. We've had games in the FA Trophy, which were a challenge. How have you personally found it? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I've obviously played last two seasons of like, my first seasons in men's football, really. It's a, a big difference, even at the the lower level but yeah it's been a nice surprise to be working hard and just stepping up the levels is obviously nice for me personally I just want to try and play as high as possible so it's nice to be like surrounded by players that are all putting in the same work as you and like trying to build each other up kind of thing so yeah it's been it's been a lot tougher than I expected not gonna lie I think that was a bit naive going into it but yeah it's been it's been a nice challenge to go on and the way we've been playing it's been perfect so yeah when fully fit, it's fair to say that you've been a regular in Scott Dundas's start in 11 and still at a young age. How, how much of a proud moment is, is that to be? Obviously, you've filled in at sense back as well, especially when we've gone two or three at the back and sit in occasions. But you have been a regular when fully fit. What, what's that like for you? Uh, yeah, of course, it's nice that the Scots put a lot of faith in me, obviously, being a young lad and going straight in for most games starting, which has been perfect for me. It's like I like to have a manager that's got confidence in me and it's obviously nice and it's probably brought my game on a little bit more having the confidence that the manager believes in me to do what he asks of me but I'm not really fussed to be honest obviously I like to start but even if I wasn't just being involved with the games as much as possible is what I need and can you just give us a little bit of an insight into Scott? He's come out before and saying he wants his teams, every team he manages, to play attacking football. And it's evident that he wants his full back, whether it's you or Ricky Bridge, whoever you've got on the left or right hand sides, when possible, when the space arrives, to be bombing down uh, the full back and supporting your wingers like uh, Kyle Diskin and uh, Danny Cox and Co. Is that something that you enjoy doing the attacking side of it, or do you prefer sitting in? Like, what? what where do you adapt best to? Uh, I, I don't really mind whatever style of play I can adapt my game to, but it's just nice. I mean, obviously, going forward, I can use my pace and I can do a lot of running, and that's probably what one of my better acc- accolades that I've got is my speed and my, my running. So if, if I can make space for the, the wide men, that's perfect, and they can do they can do their thing. But, yeah, I just it's an enjoyable team to play in at the moment, obviously, when everything's going well and we're playing well as a team, so everything just clicks and everything flows well. And due to different injuries, you've been asked to sit in a four. So as a right back in in a in a four, so it's going to be sitting in a little bit more deep. But you've played as a wing back as well, especially I remember games against League Town and a couple of others where we sat where we've played with the three and then with the wing backs with you and Ricky Bridge. How how did you find that? Is that something that you found hard to adapt to? Obviously, because you kind of got to do two jobs in one. 
yeah, obviously, it's never nice when you're playing as a wing back. You've got a lot more running to do, but obviously, if it's something the team needs to do and if it's going to benefit the team, I'm more than happy to put the extra running in for the team. But yeah, obviously, I prefer playing as a four. I feel more comfortable playing as a four and what I do. But if it's benefiting the team, I'll play anywhere. To be honest, I don't really mind. And going on to the team, like I said, you, you, you're quite new. Like a number of the players that we brought in, 10, 11 players into uh, the side. How have you settled in? What how, how, how has it been settling in with the new and ex experienced lads? How, how are you getting on with the lads? What's the morale like? Uh, yeah, it's obviously great. In the I knew a couple of them like, through football and obviously um, knew a couple of them outside of football. But yeah. Like, it's been seamless. All the new lads seem to have gelled in really well. Everyone's made us feel feel home at Kids Grove. So, yeah, it's a really nice place to be at the moment. And obviously, the dressing room, after every game, you can hear us. We're all getting up, singing and dancing. But, yeah, just a nice place to be around. And that probably probably the reason why we've played so well is that everyone's mucking in together and we're all like a proper team. And I, th I think uh, at the moment with the squad, I think we've done quite well because we've got a mix of young players, you, Jack Bromfield, some of the ones that just spring to mind. And we've got a bit more experience as with the Kyle Blakes, the Sam Halls, even Anthony Malvern. How does that mix work out well for you? Is it is, is there something, are there things in the experience heads games that you can learn from and take forward and do they inspire you? And uh, are they a little bit like a role model to you on the pitch? Um, yeah, it's obviously it's nice, especially directly next to me. I've either got like Spence or Josh Thorpe, the two two like wise players that have been playing for a while, and obviously to Carl Diskin in front of me, it's nice. Well, sometimes I'll make mistakes, or I'll just be trying to think too fast and trying to do too many things, and they'll just let me know what I need to do. And obviously, I can just play it simple and give it and go kind of thing. So it's good for me to have them around me, especially. Yeah, helps my game a lot more. And with the season so far, we have been doing very well. We're fourth in the league, only lost one in, in the league all season. Um, we've uh, progressed through to the first round of the FA Trophy. Personally and as a team, how do you evaluate uh, the season so far? What sticks out as one of the best memories in your mind? Um, obviously for the team, I think the, Strat um, no, the Cambridge game, sorry, and the Stratford game, to be fair, they were the two mm -hmm. standout performances for the team. Obviously, it's nice when you win from behind. And then obviously Stratford being a team that are a higher level. But even in that like pre-season playing against Crew was a nice experience for the lads. And I think we well held our own against obviously it's not their first team, but there's still there's a, a few players that have played around the league. So yeah, it's that those have been the good team performances. But on a personal level, I mean I don't really focus too much on my personal levels, but it's just obviously all the games just starting the games and being in and around the team's nice. And obviously I don't really read too much into my personal performance but like as long as the team's doing well for me that's all that's important yeah we have been on a good run at the moment and i, I think something that has helped us in a weird sort of way is that lost to Sutton Colfield where we looked in control of the game I believe we were ahead at half time there was a bit of a second half capitula uh, capitulator and it ended up losing 5-3 how important was it to bounce back straight away and is it that result that caused this bit of a good run that we're on at the moment yeah, I mean, I mean that game in particular. I think I, I, I had a very bad game, but obviously all over the park we made made mistakes. So, I mean that's going to happen in football. You can't go out every week and batter teams and win every game. But yeah, it was, it was like the same from training. From then on, it was like right, that's gone now. You can't do anything about it, obviously. So just to build on what we've been doing beforehand and bounce back, and I think we did that. So it's been perfect for us, really. And the final, just the final few from me, we've got a friendly on site, like we, like we said, and then we've got a big game in the FA Trophy um, against Stamford next Tuesday. But unfortunately, it's been revealed that behind closed doors, for, for, for non-league, non-league is all about the fans. How disappointing to not, especially we've been at home time, we've been away from home and all the FA Trophy sides, how gutting is it to not have that backing behind it? I think we would have got 300, 400 in for it as well. Yeah, obviously, it's obviously nice to play football in, in front of the fans, but I mean, we've been used to it, obviously, with pre-season behind closed doors, but obviously, we'd much prefer to have the fans in there making the noise, and it really does help the lads on the pitch when the fans are getting behind the lads, so, I mean, obviously, we've not been able to play a trophy game at home yet, and it would have been nice, but, I mean, we've still got a job to do, and we've still got to win the game, so, although it's not as nice to have no fans, we've still got, still got a job to do. And the last one uh, from me... 
doing very well in the league. It's been a good season overall so far. Now, speaking to Vice Chairman Ian Cooper, and he said to me, under Scott and with the current players we have, that he feels like something special is going on at the club so far, and hopefully that can continue after um, this second, uh, the second national lockdown. Is that something that the players, including yourself, feel? Can you feel like a good atmosphere coming coming about and something like, like I said, something special coming around the corner? Well, as a player, you don't kind of think too far forward of like what's going to happen and you just try mm. and play each game as, as they come. But obviously, we're in a nice position in the league at the moment, which if you'd have said at the start of the season, would you take being up and around the top of taking that? And obviously, especially going out the FA Cup so early that we did, it's nice to have a little trophy run. Especially for me, I like to, it's obviously, it's a big tournament where you can come up against bigger teams. So it's nice to have that experience. So but as far as we get in that, the further we go, the better. But yeah, I don't really focus too much on like, saying, no, oh, this is going to happen because that's when you start taking your foot off the gas and the performance levels are going to start to drop because we think we're better than we are kind of thing. But yeah, it's just nice to focus on each game. And then if something does come towards the end of the season, we're still up there, that'll, that'll be perfect. Thank you, Will. That'll be all. That's right, thanks.